Today, we're gonna learn how to make hippos inspired by the book, Hippos Go Berserk by Sandra Boyton. All right, so something I want you to notice when you're drawing is that you can find inspiration anywhere. So we're looking at a really fun kids book to find inspiration for our drawings. And we're gonna use information that this amazing author and illustrator has given us to make our hippos. All right, first off, making your eyeball kind of, I don't know, about three quarters of the way up a page. Now I'm using currently a 7B pencil. What you wanna do is use a lighter pencil than this so it's really easy to draw. I'm pressing lightly with this but using a darker one so you can actually see my drawing enough to be able to copy. Then we come up for an ear and get ready to swoop that down. And then the other ear comes over here. Now his nose goes forward, around, and up again for the little smile. And he has a really cute little nose. Now we have to think about how his body is going to be in space. So I want you to give a little trace without actually drawing anything first. So it curves out and then curves back in. And this part of his body sort of links to that. So we have his leg coming out here. And then our leg comes down over here. And so what's great about doing a light pencil drawing is that you are able to correct any mistakes you have, but you won't be able to see the pencil later, which is wonderful. So there you go. There's our first drawing of a hippo. All right, when you are outlining with Sharpie, the key is to look to where you're going and not as much where you just were, because then you can get a nice slow mark. And if you're gonna erase and paint over and everything anyways, it's okay if it's not precise with your, with your drawing. All right, there's one hippo, on to the next hippo. All right, another hippo favorite of mine is this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that hippo. Now I really wanna think about how the ear interacts with that body, and then how the hat is a triangle going up. And then I wanna think about this body coming down and around. And then he'll have his foot. And then this foot can come behind. And then the arm out front. Okay, and then his party hat comes from in front of his ear down to his chin with a little butt. All right, our second lit hippo is looking amazing. Now it's time to talk about watercolors. By watercolors, I mean using, um, using Crayola markers as a way of getting some light coloring for your work. So when we look at Sandra Boynton's work, she has this light amount of gray around the outside to give a little sense of color, but she doesn't have, it's not very dark. Now this marker is fairly dark. So I'm gonna talk about some techniques to get it to have more of that Sandra Boynton feel on your work. All right, so when you look at these hippos, you're kind of thinking, okay, how can I actually achieve just a little bit of a line? So what I did is I just drew on the edge and added in color after. So that's what we're gonna try to achieve with these ones that I just drew. Now the key is that you just need to have enough gray so that the color can transfer other places. You can kind of keep your gray marker to being really close to that black line 
because you're still gonna have um, water soluble, soluble uh, marker available for your water coloring effect as long as you draw a line. All right, so now all my marker's in place and I can start um, using that water to spread out my paint. And by paint, I of course need marker, but it's acting as paint, which is pretty neat. So you just wanna make sure you pull that, that ink that you, you have from the marker line into the rest. And what's cool is because the Sharpie is permanent marker, that line doesn't smudge, and that's what's gonna give you the great outline of your hand -out. Now something you're gonna notice is these will change a little bit over time as the water reacts with the paper um, and the ink gets soaked in. See, this one's already having a little bit more spread of the color than this one. And there you have it. Super cute hippos inspired by the awesome picture book, Hippos Go Berserk by Sandra Boyden. I hope you enjoyed this project because I enjoyed sharing it with you. Have an awesome day.